Hello, and welcome to Introduction to Optimization. This video covers part two of gradient-free algorithms, including simulated annealing, the Nelder-Mead method, and metaphor-inspired optimization methods. First off, simulated annealing. Annealing is a process in which metal or glass is heated and then allowed to cool at a controlled rate. Annealing changes the properties of a metal, making it more ductile and workable. Simulated annealing uses the idea of slowly cooling metal in an optimization algorithm. An initial guess is taken, then another solution is randomly guessed near the previous solution. This new solution is evaluated to see if it is better than the previous solution. Initially, some bad solutions are accepted to allow the algorithm to explore, perhaps finding its way out of a valley towards a better solution. As time goes on, the temperature is reduced and fewer bad solutions are accepted. Eventually, only solutions that are better than the previous one are accepted. It's a bit like a ball bouncing on a vibrating surface. As the vibration decreases, the ball bounces less and less. Eventually, it will come to a stop, hopefully at the minimum point. The Nelder-Mead downhill simplex algorithm is another commonly used gradient-free algorithm that uses a triangular shape, or simplex, to search for an optimal solution. The simplex shape flip-flops towards its goal, growing, shrinking, and changing its shape according to a set of rules. Eventually, it should converge to the optimal solution. Along with those already mentioned, many other gradient-free optimization algorithms exist. A large number of these are based on analogies to natural processes, such as ant colony optimization, particle swarm, harmony search, artificial bee colony algorithm, bees algorithm, glowworm swarm optimization, shuffled frog leaping algorithm, imperialistic competitive algorithm, river formation dynamics, intelligent water drops algorithm, gravitational search algorithm, cuckoo search, bat algorithm, flower pollination algorithm, cuttlefish optimization algorithm, artificial swarm intelligence. Many of these algorithms contain similar mathematical ideas concealed by differing analogies. In summary, a large variety of gradient-free optimization methods exist, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. Some of the most commonly used methods are genetic algorithms, particle swarm, simulated annealing, and the Nelder-Mead simplex algorithm. In general, gradient-free methods are easier to implement and have the advantage of not requiring derivatives. This means that they can be applied to problems that are discrete, discontinuous, or otherwise non-differentiable. Many of the algorithms also do a good job of searching for a global solution rather than a local solution. On the downside, gradient-free algorithms tend to be very slow for large problems. Many of the algorithms are also stochastic, meaning that they are based on chance and will not always find the same solution. Finally, there is no guarantee that these algorithms will return an optimal solution, meaning that while the solution found might be better than what you started with, you won't know if it's the best solution possible. Thank you for watching. Watch these videos for more information on other optimization topics.